talk about uh, uh, F.A. Melifano. Now, apparently, <laughs> we expect his return after they opened up with his 2021 day practice window, whatever it was. Um, apparently, he had a setback, so we won't see him for a while. Um, so, I don't know if that's four more weeks, three more weeks, um, two more weeks. I'm not sure what that's going to be. But Roger Martin is close to coming back, so... Uh, he been injured for the whole season. I don't even think he made too many appearances, if any. Let's talk about it. Check out Detroit Lions Talk Playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And, you know, they got a decision to make pretty soon on F.A. Melifano if they want to bring him back. Uh, phenomenal player, but just ain't never healthy. So, some people just ain't got the physical, you know, body to really hold up in the league. So, and they can use both those guys right now, especially with they got Levi Anzarike kind of playing defensive end more because of the injuries to the defensive end. And you won't even get your emergency defensive end back in Derek Barnes. He done for the season, so he ain't coming back. Alexander Zoni, they just put him on IR, so he's gone six to eight weeks uh, with a broken forearm. So, you know, at best, you may see him back with two games left in the season. You know, um, you may not see him back to the playoffs. So, you know, you got the Lions fans talking about signing. You know, David Long, the linebacker, which may be smart at this point. Um, but, yeah, F.A. Malafano was a guy that you was coming in, and that was probably going to help across that defense, you know, give you more stability at corner, give you a great blitzer from the nickel back position, give you some nickel help and all that. So, um, he's a big-time player. He makes plays. He's another one of those ball hawks. Corner by trade, 6'3", 220, strong kid, 215 this year. So whatever going on with his injury, I mean, we expect to see him in the beginning of the season. Then they went on IR, and then you know, for now, they saying he has somewhat of a setback. So in the second half of the season, maybe in the last quarter, in a couple weeks, you may see him back. Three or four weeks, you may see him back. But they got a tough stretch coming up. Anytime you got division games coming up, you got Indianapolis. You know, going to Indianapolis, not a far trip. Um, but then, you know, it gets a little bit murky. I think after Indianapolis, you get Chicago on Thursday. Then next Thursday, you get you get Green Bay. Then I want to say possibly you get Chicago again. And then I think you get Buffalo. You know, then I think you may get, you know, the 49ers and I think Minnesota to end it off. So, yeah, you're going to a, a tough stretch, you know, especially after Indian, Indianapolis. You're going through a real tough stretch after that. Division games are always tough. Buffalo might be the game of the year. Um, that's going to be a tough one. Buffalo playing a good football. They receivers getting healthy. And, you know, Josh Allen is a problem. Last time they came to Ford Field, they beat us um, on Thanksgiving. But, you know, you know, we're going to need to get some of these dudes back. Somebody got to come back. You know, Roger Martin will help. He, he lost a lot of weight. Good run stopper. Um. That'll get him some relief at defensive tackle from Makai Wingo and Levon Zarike and, and Reeder and Ali McNeil. That'll keep him a little bit more fresher. Um, you know, so they gotta get some guys back. FA, you know, at some point, if he in a few in a few weeks, we'll take that. Arizona for the playoffs, we'll take that. Roger Martin coming back, we'll take that. But every team gotta deal with their injuries. That's just going to make the depth a little bit more stronger just getting those guys back. So, um, so yeah. So, as we hit this 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 last half of the season that you're about to go through, which they're sitting at, what, 10 games? So, they got six games left. So, was it, was it seven, game, seven games left or something like that? Seven games. So, it's about to be a tough stretch coming up. You know, about to be a real tough stretch. But, uh, but, yeah, you know, hopefully they get some of these dudes back. Um, but probably some, so much that, so many injuries to linebacker, Barnes, and, 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 and uh, you know, Anazoni. At least you get Anazoni back. So, you see, man, but Roger Martin getting him back, that'll be huge. Because you want to keep them big fellas up there. You want to keep them fresh. You want to keep them big fellas fresh. So it's, you know that's the that's the that's the that's the 
sometimes of a good defensive line when you got a good second and third wave of those guys coming in there. So, you know, Scales, Darius Smith, you know, James Houston, you know, and the rest of those guys, keeping them guys fresh. Don't think you're going to get Kaminsky back neither. So, you know, I see Aiden Hutchinson kind of, you know, walking on his leg in the water. He ain't coming back no time soon. Too much of a valuable uh, uh, asset to have him, like, rushing to get back. You know Hopefully they get some of these dudes back, bring a couple guys in if they need to bring them in. Uh, so that's why you want to stack these wins up. So if you need to rest guys here and there, you can. You know, and kind of thinking about it, probably losing to Tampa wasn't the worst thing. You really don't want to have the pressure going undefeated over your head the whole season. That, that's my thing. You don't really want to have the pressure kind of going undefeated the whole season. So, that's probably a good loss to Tampa. Um, I ain't going to say it's a good loss, but in a, in a good way, it probably made some sense. Um, so, but nonetheless, um, but yeah, hopefully they at least get those guys back, but FA is going to provide some things for them, man, you know, you know, Roger Martin going to provide a little bit more strength and depth up front for them. So, um, gone, man, gone. Bunch of impatient drivers. But, you know, we got to wait and see. But, yeah, F.A., you going to say what the setback was. I don't even know what the hell we know what the, what the injury truly was. But, you know, he probably got to make a conscious effort. Like, do you want to play in this league or not? Because every time he breathes, he get injured. That motherfucker stayed injured, boy. I tell you. He woke up this bed and got got out the bed and, and he has a strained hamstring. He's like, damn. But some people, you know, everybody's body ain't built to play football. People don't understand how much of a taxing sport football really is. It's taxing on the body. I think the average NFL career is two and a half years. Acronym for the NFL is not for long. It's not for long, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. Get all notifications. Get your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video financially on the sporting channel. Cash app dollar sign CJ Good 313. Memo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter. Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Memo, PayPal, or it's on Cat, uh, yeah, that's it, but hey, she got Detroit Lions, so I play this from videos like this, it is.